DJ, come on. I gotta have me a kvassi up here first. You know but, what? But you know I'm what? sorry your drink's not there. It's Hank's. It's it's my dad's night to buy, and he left town. <laughs> oh, okay. So All he right. owes so, you a drink. Yeah, he do. We'll we, make we, sure we, that we, that gets taken back care. in town. And for some reason, our waitress that always is in here, yeah, isn't here today. Which I think I, I just saw Brittany here, going to check but on. But she ain't coming in here. I don't oh, get it. Man, <laughs> did somebody not pay their bill last time? Uh, <laughs> I know that wasn't you because you the paid way, what do you drink? everybody's. Cavassier. Cavassier. Dog. I, I thought that Check was it a out. hot dog. Uh-oh, that, that's a hint. That's a hint. That's a hint right there. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, so right. listen, so, you know, thank you for letting us come out and, and, and IT out there to, to stream it live. Your show, it was uh, Monday night. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, first of all, we appreciate that. I appreciate so you guys coming out, man. And uh, it was very cool to watch it and, and to get it in tune to what you do. So uh, tell us a little bit how you you know how you got into it. All right. Well, um, for those who don't know, once again, um, I'm T.J. Chapman, host of the T.J. Chapman Show. Um, and one of the catchphrases that people know me by is, "What's happening? What's happening, family? What's happening?" So, there you go. <laughs> and, um, and so I, I originally got started, you know, maybe about 10, 11 years ago. But it just wasn't my time. Mm -hmm. I've always had a knack of just talking, running my mouth, and you know, be like, you boy, you always just run your mouth and always ah, whatever. <laughs> so you know, going you get along good with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so going, so going through life, um, I ended up, you know, uh, you know, going through some things, different changes, and it was just, uh, it was just the right time and opportunity. That's so, um, so an opportunity presented itself back mm -hmm. in November of uh, 2017, and. And I launched uh, the first episode of the T.J. Chapman Show, and ever since then, um, the best has always been coming. Yeah. And the, the show mainly is, is about sex, love, and relationship. And I'm sure you guys can kind of relate to it. I'm sure you guys. You lost me at sex. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I, I guess he. I guess he don't get. Did enough. you say there's more to your show, or uh -oh, was that it? Uh oh. Because I'll tune no, in about tomorrow. You? I'm, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure. I've been married 31 <laughs> years. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so, he, so he getting his cut at night. Okay, that's good. So, um, but ba basically, I mean, we, we have uh, topics that relate to a lot of people who tend to go through different things. I don't talk about things that I haven't gone through personally myself. Um, I'm not this hypocrite that's going to be like, you know, think I'm, you know, God Almighty, I know everything and haven't gone through it. So um, a lot of the things that I talk about on my show, I've actually gone through it. And, awesome. and it, oh, oh, not, not too awesome because it, it, it was a downtime in well, my life sometimes. Uh, where but, the, but the but, fact hey, you but, can hear that but out it's experience, But it's experience yeah. and you to can get help off that you can overcome from it and, and, and learn from better. it and make you a better man. And you don't have to be a certain age for you to finally click it to be like, you know what? That's my defining moment. I'm done. Well, you know, the other side of that is people watching it say, realize I'm not the only one going through it. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So that helps too. It's it, it's got to be therapeutic in that way as well. Yeah, exactly. And not just about you know sex, love, and relationship, but also do uh, a lot of awareness. You know, from breast cancer, suicide prevention, nice. uh, you know, depression, mental health. So I mean, a lot of these things are very important uh, for the simple fact that uh, people only want to deal with it when it's that particular month. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. whether it's you know mental health month right. or kidney disease month or you know breast cancer month. But so it's going I, on I, 12 months a year. And it's yeah. going on 12 months, especially <laughs> domestic violence. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't happen during that month. So I, I try to bring awareness to the show, let people know. And, um, and as a matter of fact, at the end of this month, uh, we're actually going to have Michelle Wiggins uh, come on. She's a motivational speaker, um, along with someone from, you know, from, um, from DCF that's going to come on as well. Oh, wow. and, um, and we're actually going to talk about a very touchy situation, and, and it's going to be on rape you know, on, on different aspects. You know, people talk about, you know, women being raped, but men be raped also. But there's no statistics because we as men have an ego. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say I got raped by somebody, no. 
So I feel that this platform is going to allow those guys to actually, hey, you know what? My life matter too. You know, so, but those are just some of the, the, the topics, the awareness shows that yep. I bring to my show. Well, that's great. And it's, it's good to hear that you hit all these great topics, and especially just like you said. You know, these certain events, uh, they happen 365 days a year. It's Absolutely. not just the, the month that, or the week that it's, it's dictated to. But now I'm going to take you a 160 degree turn. Uh oh. And we're going to see how you got, because we've got a theme going on tonight with the, with the predators here. Oh, so I want to see how you got involved with the Predators okay. and, and, you know, what your feelings been through, you know, is this the first season you've done that? Um, yes, actually it has. Um, the, the owner, uh, Kenny McIntyre, mm -hmm. um, he's actually, um, he actually was my coach. Oh, okay. Um, I, I played um, defensive back for the Orlando Rage back in the day. Oh, wow. And, there you um, go. And so, you know, he came on and, you know, he developed me to become um, an even better player as a DB uh, but most importantly, as a coach as well, he instilled a lot of things into me, um, along with you know my my uh, head coach right now, uh, Ron Scaletta, um, who's now um, the head coach for the Orlando Phantoms, which I'm also part of the Orlando Phantoms. And uh, coming off of a player, um, I've won um, four championships as a player, and now as a coach, I have back-to-back championships as a coach now wow that's fantastic you know? good for you and so uh so kenny approached me one day he was like you know i know what you like to do um you had me on your show um how about hosting chalk talk mm -hmm. and starting it up and i have the head coach come out to you guys and you just no host bar let's just talk about it whether it's good or bad I saw you that you weren't holding back. You, no, no, you, no. you had him answering <laughs> questions, and that's you know he, he's a coach himself and a former okay. coach. So he's the same way you are. He's he, good and bad. It goes both ways, doesn't it? Twenty-eight years coach. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and so uh, you know, and also you know another you know big shout out to um, you know Michael Torres. Call him Coach T. Um, you know he has the Phantoms in the right direction, um, and we're actually going to um, do a three peat. We're oh, actually in, in, in process of doing a three-peat. So that, that's pretty much how I got started with, with the Predators. And um, a lot of players mm -hmm. came from the Phantoms organization. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a lot of those guys um, have contributed a lot to, you know, the Predators organization. And uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thankful to be here. No, no, that's great. Now, so, so a lot of players transitioned over to the Predators. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, we're not going to lie, it's been a tough season, but they oh, got in at a late start. Right, right, right. But that's not an excuse, they say. And, you know, and they, they own up to that, so that's right. great. Absolutely. But it's just great to have them back, oh, yeah. I, I oh, think. Yeah. But, you know, how did you feel, you know, because this was the first time, I think, that you streamed your show, wasn't it? Yes, very first so, time. So how would that feel? Man, it, 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 felt, it <clears> felt like a dream come true in a sense because it's like if, if we're going to do a professional show, then I feel that it's, it's necessary to have, you know, a professional look. Not to, you know, discredit, you know, Facebook Live and all this other stuff, mm -hmm. which, which, which is good for, you know, real action time. But when you're doing a production, it, it just takes it to a whole new Le elevation, yeah. you know, and level. So um, The next level. And too bad you didn't have a professional crew out there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, John was professional. John is professional. Yes. We got all the, and the rest listen, of the crew, Mike just, and just so everybody knows, all the professionals are on that side of the camera. You want screw ups? We're on this side of the camera. So I'm just everybody out there knows. So about getting off them. the predator thing, but so yes. if you're dating okay. and you have sex, uh -oh. Uh -oh. does that mean you? <laughs> Oh, come on. Does that make you a better come player? On. Come on. Tell, tell me the answer. Well, because I, I, mean, was look, I was checking it out. Well, one, one thing I've, I've understand, having sex before a game is, is, is a no-no sometimes because it releases energy. It releases your, your, you know, your potents and, and your enzymes. And, and, but, yeah, anyway, next question. <laughs> we, might have a new, we might have a whole new segment to this show. John says he's got plenty of enzymes. So oh, he, John's okay with that, he said. Because oh, sex, boom, buy anything. He, I'm good. He's, he's ADHD. <laughs> he's like the Energizer Bunny. He don't stop, man. So he, he can, you know, you I think know he can have like. energy drink? They suck it out of my veins. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> not, not as good. It's, always, it's always good after, after the game. Always after, good. after the game, yeah. once, once you win, you can go to the 50 yard line. Listen, I'm married. I say it's good whenever you get it. But you guys go with whatever you want to go with. Yes, yes. All right, guys. Well, we're drifting here. So. Well, okay. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, tell them where they can watch your show. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Tuesday night, um, 8 p.m. 8 o'clock, right? Yeah, on uh, Culture Radio Network. Uh, download the app. You can watch um, our shows live. 
You can also listen to our shows on demand um, on the culturalplay.com backslash the TJ Chapman Show. Make sure you follow us on all platforms, the TJ Chapman Show, and that's the TJ Chapman, C-H-A-T. Right there on the screen. M-A-N. Right when they see it right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. see it right there. You're seeing that. Just take off, the, ju- that. Just take off the junior yep. and add on the in the beginning and show at the end. And boom, you'll find Dude. us. Just like That's that. That's a jigsaw puzzle, That's man. It. That's it. Just All like right. that. All right. Well, we'll, we'll kind of lead them in the right direction. <laughs> oh, no. That, that, so, you know. Listen, so we feel, feel bad that Dad wasn't here to buy your drink, so we'll get you a drink. Oh, man. And you can enjoy it over there. And, oh, there's April right there. April, April come wait, here. April, April drink when April, he gets April, off the get show, will you? Come here, whatever April. he wants. Oh. Here, we got you. Whatever you yeah, want, Joe. Come on over here, right? We got you. Well, here's our host oh, God, with tell the what you want. right here. Okay. <laughs> so tell, TJ, tell April what you need. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just need a cognac, cavassier. Hennessy? Oh, Hennessy just as good. All right. Uh, that's Straight a, up. I told you she was a pro. With, with, a couple, with a couple of cues in there. Couple of cues. Couple, couple of cues in there. Is that mm-hmm. three? I'll say three. Okay. <laughs> See, because this show, we drink. <laughs> we have a good time. Thanks, we April. enjoy it. We talk about Nate. what we do. Hey. Who needs what? What do you need? Uh-oh. You're there good? You don't like need that. a drink? Okay. Good. All right. All right. Well, all right. Well, teach it. So there you go. See, so don't say we left you empty handed. Oh, yeah. hey. See, there you go. I Thank you, you guys for coming on. on. Thank you for what you do. Make yeah. sure you guys hey, tune in. Watch your show. Make sure you guys tune in Tuesday night, Culture Radio Network, the TJ Chapman Show. Keep it locked. The there best. You there you go. Wait, yeah, give me your catchphrase. All right. Your catchphrase. What? Oh, what's happening? What's happening, family? That's right. the intro. There you go. There you go. And I'm tuning in for the sex. I'm just saying. All right, everybody, stay tuned. We got Nate coming in here, so we'll be right back.